Yo, what's good YouTube? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys every method on how to get the IA badge in GTA 5 online. So if you guys do enjoy this video and find it helpful, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, for the first method, I'll show you guys how to get the IA badge on any of your saved outfits. So what you guys want to do is head over to this yellow U right here on the map. Once you guys do arrive, go press options, online, go down to playlists, go to create, and go to add stun race and add the first stun race. Once you have done that, click out and then go down to save playlist and then just name it whatever you guys want. Once you guys done that, just click out of this and then equip the outfit that you guys want the IA badge on. And once you guys have the outfit equipped, it, just go on top of the yellow circle right here and then go options online, go down to playlists and then go my playlists and then click on the playlist that you just created and you'll be brought up this alert right here. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to press accept the alert, so X or A if you're on Xbox to accept the alert, and then spam right D-pad just like this, so. And once you guys have done that, you'll load into a race called the ULP Intelligence. What you want to do from here is just confirm all the settings and press play launch job. Once you guys load in, if you guys do see a car behind you, you've messed up the glitch and we'll have to restart. Otherwise, if you see this like big statue behind you, you guys will be all right. So just press ready to play. Once you guys do load into this cutscene, you'll see your character does have the IA badge. So from here, just watch the cutscene. Once you guys do finish the cutscene, you see your character does have the IA badge. So what you guys want to do from here is head over to your apartment building. Once you guys do arrive at your apartment building, just go up to the front door where the blue circle is and just enter inside of it. And once you guys do make it into the apartment, just go down the stairs into the apartment wardrobe. And when you guys are in the apartment wardrobe, just press right D-pad to enter it. And then go save this outfit into any slot. And once you guys have done that, just click out of the clothing menu, go to your phone and just leave the job through your phone. And once you guys are led back into GTA Online, what you guys want to do is go into Interaction Menu, go down to Appearance, and then equip the outfit that you just saved. And as you guys see, you guys will have the IA badge on that outfit. And also guys, feel free to customize the outfit too, like add helmets, gloves, and stuff like that. And you guys can also change the pants and top if you guys don't. If you guys don't like the outfit, you can actually customize it. But be aware that some stuff might make the IA badge disappear, like some masks, as you see. If I go to Interaction Menu and put like a mask on, you see sometimes the IA badge disappear, so... If it does disappear, you guys might need to do the um, telescope glitch so it actually merges onto the outfit without the IA badge disappearing. Alright guys, for the next IA badge method, I'll show you guys how to get the IA badge and necklace, as well as the IA badge on the pants. So this glitch will include the transfer glitch, meaning it will delete all your saved outfits besides one. So what you guys want to do is head to your nearest clothing store, and then equip the outfit you guys do not want to lose. So just go into interaction menu or whatever and just equip the outfit you guys do not want to lose. And once you guys have that outfit equipped, you guys just want to go options, online, go to manage characters and once you guys are in this swap character menu you guys want to make sure that the main character your character you want the IA badge on is in the first slot so if the male character is not in the first slot you guys cannot do this glitch but what you guys want to do from here is you guys want to go to the second character and just press X to start editing it And once you guys are in the character creator menu, make sure you switch the gender to female. And once you guys have done that, just go down to save and continue and name it to whatever you guys want and press accept. And it should load you guys back into GTA Online. Once you guys do load back into GTA Online, go over into your map and make sure you guys have the clothing menu on your map. If the clothing menu is not on your guys map, you guys will have to go uh, start a new environment session. Otherwise, if it is, just head over to the nearest clothing store. And once you guys make it over to your clothing store, just go up to the front counter right here and then go to standard and then put the Chica outfit. And once you guys have equipped the Chica outfit, just click out of the menu, go to interaction menu, go to appearance and make sure all accessories have been taken off the outfit. And once you guys have done that, just go over to the accessories menu in the clothing store. And once you guys do get there, go down to necklaces and I'll purchase the white pearl necklace, this one right here. Once you guys have purchased it, just click out this menu and go to the front lady again. 
And once you guys are here, just go save this outfit in the first slot. Once the outfit in the first slot is saved, just click out of the menu. So what you guys want to do next is you guys want to force a game save. So go options, online, go down to options, and go down to where it says kill yourself right here for $500. And just do that. And once you guys spawn back in, what that does is it actually forces a game save. So once you guys have forced that game save, you're just going to go to options, online, and go down to Rockstar Creator and start that up. Once you guys are in Rockstar Creator, go create a race and then go down to land race. And once you guys are in this menu, just go options, go to online, and go back to manage characters. Once you guys are in the swap character menu, go one to the right to the female character, and then go delete. So just go type in the words delete to delete the character. And once you guys have deleted the character, what you guys want to do from here is just go one to the right again over to um, hover above the female character and it should say press X to start using this character. What you guys want to do from here is join a friend in a different targeting mode. If you guys don't have any friends in different targeting modes, I'll pop up on screen someone to join. So this guy called Anawak. So I'll pop up on PS5, PS4 and then Xbox. So what you guys want to do is just type in his name and then join him. And once you guys have joined Anawak or a friend in a different targeting mode, just accept this alert and it should send you guys into GTA Story Mode. Once you guys do learn to GTA story mode, what you guys want to do is just go press options and then go to online and start an invite only session. Once you guys do load back into GTA online, what you guys want to do is head to your nearest clothing store. And once you guys do arrive at the clothing store, go up to the front counter and make sure to save the outfit that you guys are wearing in any slot. Once you have done that, when you go up to the first slot, you guys will see that the IEA badge and on the pants and the necklace will be there. So you guys can just go equip this outfit and then you guys can customize it. So as you guys see, you guys can put basically any top on or any pants too. And probably even put some helmets on and do some telescope glitch to put masks and stuff on like that. So basically you guys can just go around customizing this outfit and make it look 10 times better. So guys, this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy this video and find it helpful, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. And also remember to comment down below if you guys want to see any more clothing glitch videos just like this because I'll be happy to make them for you guys. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and peace out.